Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Hit the bell icon button so that you don't miss out any tutorial. Useful and important tools I've found for WordPress development is the inclusion of the WordPress coding standards into my projects and using PHP Code Sniffer to check everything as I'm coding it. So what PHP Code Sniffer basically does is it tokenizes PHP, JavaScript, and CSS files, and it detects violations of a defined set of coding standards. And so when we use the WordPress coding standards in PHP Code Sniffer, it enforces the best conventions for WordPress coding. It helps us to write better formatted and more accurate code, and it helps us to do these things faster. Uh, and we don't have to check ourselves as much. Uh, so in this video, let me show you a little bit of an introduction about what kinds of things we need to get ready in order to set this all up. Uh, but first, a little bit of a warning. Setting this stuff up, uh, the PHP Code Sniffer and the WordPress Coding Standards, it does require a little bit of work, and it'll be different across various operating systems. So, for example, PHP comes pre-installed on Mac computers, and it will also be installed in your local host environment, like Local by Flywheel, or WAMP, or MAMP. But if you want to be able to access the PHP command from a command line in any location, like a global location in Windows, you're going to need some additional steps to set it up on Windows. Uh, so for this reason, I'll also include some links to a lot of blogs that can help you to set things up. Uh, I'll give you some links to you know, setting up PHP and Composer in MAMP and using PHP Code Sniffer for MAMP and WordPress. Uh, setting up PHP Code Sniffer in Visual Studio Code, etc. This one was really helpful for me, getting getting things set up. Uh, a lot of these tutorials are written by Tom McFarlane, who is a really excellent WordPress developer. I've been following him for years, and he writes some really good stuff. So I'll share those also in this video. Uh, but additionally, PHP Code Sniffer and WordPress coding standards are not really required to continue learning about theme development. I only want to include them as a way to enable better theme development that adheres to WordPress best practices. So if you don't want to use them or if you have any trouble setting them up, you can always skip this video. You can skip this installation altogether. You can come back to it later. You might have to do a little bit of research on your own based on your configuration. Uh, you might have to, you know, kind of troubleshoot things as you go, but I'll do my best to help set things up and get things ready for you. So if you go over to Google and you Google search WordPress coding standards, you can see a couple of interesting links show up. The first one, well, the second one now. The second one here is from make.wordpress.org. And this just kind of details the purposes of the coding standards, some language specific coding standards, some accessibility standards. So you can kind of explore that a little bit later by yourself if you want. But the one that we're going to be using is in GitHub. So this is actually a repository that stores all of the rules, the PHP code sniffer rules or sniffs to enforce the WordPress coding conventions. This is the thing that we're going to download to our computers and get set up. So if you scroll down a little bit, you can see that some of the requirements down here are PHP and PHP code sniffer. So we're definitely going to need to make sure that we've got both PHP and PHP code sniffer installed. Another thing that we'll want to install is Composer. Composer is a PHP dependency manager, and it will help us to install these things locally into our projects or globally. It just helps us to manage our PHP uh, re dependencies a little bit better. Uh, so there are actually five things that we need to get set up in order to get everything ready. There are five things that we need to install in order for everything to function properly and each one is dependent on the previous step. So the first thing is we need to make sure that we've got PHP accessible because PHP allows us to install Composer. So if you're on Windows and you want it globally accessible you're gonna have to follow some extra commands. If you just want to install it in your project you can do that. The PHP command will be accessible from within your project directory or if you're on a Mac it's already ready. Uh, so the second thing that we need to install is we need to install Composer. And on this page, there will be different uh, rules for how to install Composer based on your particular installation. And each time 
Composer is updated, these rules here, these commands will change, the installer will change, you know, so just make sure that you go to Composer and get the latest version. Uh, the third thing that we need to set up is PHP code sniffer. So we can use Composer like this with a command in the terminal to install PHP code sniffer. And then after we've got PHP code sniffer installed, we need to download the WordPress coding standards. We can do this either with Composer in a new directory, or if we're going to be doing it as a dependency within another directory, there's a couple of things that we'll need to uh, take care of with that. We, we can use a plugin to help manage that. We can require the rules. We can require one of these plugins inside of a pre-existing directory. But in my case, what I am interested in doing is I'm interested in getting the WordPress coding standards as a standalone so that I can access this from anywhere within my computer. Uh, and so I'm just going to basically put this directory, I'm going to git clone this directory into the root directory of my computer. And then the last thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set up Visual Studio Code settings. In here, we're going to have to tell Visual Studio Code about our entire setup. So if you're ready, let's get started. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, do give us a thumbs up and share it. Also, check out amazing discounts and offers on our premium courses in the description below.